That's funny. Yeah. That they get so hot. The stove, the bottom part of the stove is 1959. My father bought it in 1959. The upper part I put the pans on in 2000. So they're only 15 years old. I'm chilly. Yeah. Go in? Yeah. Oh, well, I've replaced the doors on it. First year, my pull the door, door together. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't work after you put, if you've been pushing in frozen slab wood. It doesn't work no. that well. <laughs> Not cast iron. So is the only thing this would be used for is to... That's all it's used for is cook and serve. Yeah. So hence the do dollar signs. Well, <laughs> each one has their own heat sink they put on the front of them um, at that time. There's a big L for liter. Uh, the one door I have out there has a VT on it uh -huh. for Vermont made. Uh -huh. um, and then there, I don't know what, I forgot what the room had. Uh, and, uh, but they've gone to a steel front now. Anyway, they don't have that insulated front. Do you keep this thing going 24 hours a day? Uh, no. You could, but okay. we, <laughs> thankfully our evaporator outsizes our growth. Yeah. So our sugar bush. Sure. So it actually makes it so we don't have to get to that point where we're boiling through the bag. What do you feed this year? Probably right around 160 right in there, 163, which our norm is between 2 and 250. So. How does it compare to last year? Last year, I want to say it's pretty similar. Is it? Like roundabouts. It just seems like last year would have been a better year, but I mean it was a worse year for all of us, but... Not exactly. Well, we still have that warm-up that came year. too quick kind of thing. Yeah, that's true. I was not mistaken last year, but... Back here and look at this boiling. Back a little bit. On the 15th, 16th of March. Last year we didn't even start till 15th, 16th of March. Any year before. Yeah, when did you start this year? On the 27th of February. And I started tapping right after the, uh, the, uh, the 14th of February. <coughs> Yeah, it started to run a little bit, but it didn't really start running. I, I read the articles they started in Maine, in southern Maine, in the, uh, January. 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 Some of the people, the larger sugar bushes, they start tapping in January anyways. And uh, because they've got so much to do, it takes them about a month to tap. Oh, okay. So they started they started running, and they started producing syrup in January yeah. thought. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the ones that have four ten thousand. 10,000, 20, 30,000. I know one person up in Vermont has got 30, 33, 34,000 taps. That's a lot of, that's that's a lot of, a lot of work. work. That's a lot of work just getting everything set up. And you have to tap it every year. You have to yeah, do all to new tap. taps. Yeah. 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 Every year. Um, how old that is. That they still make them kind of that way. I don't know why, because it's one of the least efficient evaporators. <laughs> Do you still use that? Do you still use that door? I don't use it at yeah. all. I just use that as an example okay. to show people what these doors feel like, and how heavy they are. Yeah. They're not. That's a lot of. <laughs> that's a lot of steel in there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they make insulated fronts now. That's what the newer evaporators. They start doing insulated fronts more recently. <laughs> People always ask me that you know, the, the sugar house was built on a level, right. and that hill was built for the horses in 1910. <coughs> oh, okay. Horses and slavery go up, and there's no electricity on that. How long has this sugar house been here? <clears throat> 1910. Wow. I don't actually have the actual build time, but my father came up in 1930, and it was here, and it was old. <laughs> it was old then. Yeah. It was old then. And there was one other sugar house, but it was at the end of the other building. And I found the arch when I built the little shed I built over there. Uh -huh. And he didn't like that idea. I don't think 
shingles are that better, much better. <laughs> Actually, you know, when you get uh, when you get sparks coming down from the uh, right. from the chimney back there. But uh, I'm going to put a metal roof on it one of these days. That would be the last time I have to do. That's that's the one thing about metal. Yeah. yeah. yeah last last thing I have to worry about. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Enjoy. That's where we draw all the sap into now. All 1,200 tree, 1,200 taps come into that one tank back there. And then you pump it in. And then I can pump it up to wherever. Some of the trees I set, we only set with horses. You couldn't get up there with a tractor. Wow. You know, the steepness of the hill and all that type of thing. It's too steep for a tractor. Well, it looks like you really got it under control here. Well, it's a little easier that way. You don't have to go visit the tree every day. Yeah. You can go out there and check the lines whenever you mm. want to or need to. And you leave the lines up all year? Yes. Okay. Yep. Pull the tap to the end of the season and put the, uh, mm -hmm. clean them out with water. How long have they had these lines running? Oh, they've been, it was around 1990 they started coming out with this version, 1995. Mm -hmm. And I've had these up since 2002. Cool. All the same lines. A couple of change because of squirrel bites. <laughs> and, yeah, they seem to work pretty good. They, well, thank uh, they're still very flexible. Hey, thanks a lot.